just a bloke in a bar. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to another episode of Packer Up, boys, where we're a bit more casual. We just like to end the week on a on a on just a cruisy note. You know, you've packed the tools up. The boys are all ready and raring to go. Uh, that's what Packer Up, boys, are all about. Yes, absolutely stinging for a John Deere, a bloody Mick Devere, a Skooey Skooey Moy Moy. Love that one. A Nofa Frothalo. Frothua, Frothua Luma. Do you want to start the podcast again? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm already blind. I'm okay, blind. okay, yeah, fair yeah. enough. Yeah. Um, a Dale for Nucan. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, I mean, look, I, I'll, I'll be I'll be honest. Like, I've got these in my head because I've posted them so many times. Okay. So I'm not going to I'm trying to, like, come in with one, but I've got nothing. So. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the great Toby Rudolph here, bros. How is the great Toby Rudolph going? Great. Mm. Yeah, really good. Just uh, round one, about to kick off, two days. Um, mm. Captain's run tomorrow into, into South and... You know, raring to go. I've been, been a very long, grueling preseason, as they all are. So, yeah. I'm keen as for it to all start. Well, yeah, so, did you guys? Was it you that were going to shave your head? Are you still going to shave your head? I'm still shaving my head. Yeah. Okay. So, when's um, that happening? And what's it for? 15th of March. Okay. Welcome to Shave Leukemia Foundation. Yeah. So good. Um, just wanted to like I was honestly just over my having long hair. I've had it for pretty much most of my twenties, and mm. I'm sick of having to like put in product, getting pulled at training. Sick of being really hot. hot. Sick of being hot. <laughs> like want to just like try and be ugly for once, like you. Um, <laughs> so I'm just yeah. I just thought what a good way to do it was going to shave. Everyone's heard of it. So yeah. I knew I knew about the, the cause already and um, hit up the team at the Sharks. They hit up the team at the great, Greatest Shave and now it's all going ahead. Mate, actually, um, do you have that jersey, Matty? You know which one. It's white, <laughs> it's, it's white and purple. Oh, I know which one. Because I've got something for you, mate. Okay. You know, it's been a big few days. Uh, like, I'm sure it's been... It's been pushed to you, hopefully. I hope that this has been pushed to you and people have let you know, but I'd like to present you. Stop it. With your jersey, mate. This is what I'm here for? No way. Here we go, mate. Flight oh FC. My God. You've made the squad this year, mate. I did it? Yes, you did. <laughs> yes, you did, mate. Thank you so much. Shall I put it on now? If you want, bros. If you want. It's pretty hot. I would put it, I'd put it on. All right, go on. Get then. the rig out. Go on, then. Get the rig out. Yeah. You don't do preseason not to get the rig out. <laughs> there it is. Look at that's all man. All right. That's pure man. I wonder if it'll it'll fit. Uh, if it's skin tight, it's even better, isn't it? Mate, you're looking good. Thanks, bro. What are the skinnies at? Um, we don't do those anymore, eh? What? Oh, okay, fair enough. <laughs> oh, stop it! There it is, baby. Playing, oh, holy heckers! That's looking mad, bro. Oh, wow. There you go, bro. Oh, that's so start. good. Let's do it. <laughs> Fuck. That was just off the cuff too. I actually didn't even pre-plan that. I swear yeah, to God. Actually, off the cuff. You're a, you're a podcast genius. <laughs> uh, mate, so welcome to Packer Up, boys, where we just talk about whatever we want. Uh, brought to you by Bloke Beer. Guys, get in your local, grab a case of Bloke Beer, the best beer in all the land. Uh, we are actually in special right now in every celebrations in New South Wales and Queensland. Anywhere from 52 to $56 for a case of Bloke and a Bar beer. I'm getting absolutely stung on that. I'm not making no <laughs> money on that. So get in there, grab a case of Bloke and a Bar beer. Plus, uh, tonight... Uh, I will be at, well actually we're filming this on Thursday for the first month of the year, we're filming this on Thursday, release on Friday because I've got to do the regional tour, we're going mm. to Armadale, we're going to Wagga, we're going to Cairns and Rockhampton then after that we'll film it on Friday but uh, mate, so the pre-season's done and dusted Correct Round one is here, you got starting to get those butterflies and you know, the, the, not nervousness but that excitement yeah, definitely. Like it's, um, I don't really get it until game day. Mm. Um, you saw, I even got it for the trials, like which is ridiculous because there's only trials; they don't really count towards anything. Yeah. But um, yeah, I think Friday tomorrow, captains run once that's over. You start to go. All right, sessions are done now. Mm. Uh, I'm about to start ripping into Terran, and then when Saturday rolls around, like you're trying to think about it, but it's all you think about, you know, like. Yeah. Especially like those late games, you just wanted to sort of oh, be, just know, get there, eh? Hurry up, just be an Arvo or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Mate, I'm keen as like, especially round one against South. I've got plenty of friends there. That was yep. a club I was formerly at, although it was quite a long time ago now. But mm. still a lot of boys there, so man, I'm keen as. Mate, Rabbitohs, how good? I mean, it would have been good to have the great Nico. Who actually? Who in the preseason right now? Are you just like, oh, I'm sick of your face, bro. Um, Cam McGuinness, just because uh, it's a pretty hard face to look at. <laughs> as a bloke, though, ledge. Absolute ledge, but as a face. Well, I've got a theory. Go on then. The rough of the head usually better the bloke. Yeah. That's not bad. That's Do you know pretty, what I mean? Yeah. Nick has a terrible bloke. Exactly. Shit yeah. bloke. Shit yeah. bloke. Lowest bloke Good ever. sort. Yeah. 
But Who's Derek? Rough, when you, if you meet a, a guy with a rough head and he's a shit bloke, it's almost like the fucking Antichrist. It's <laughs> like, yeah. bro, you have no right to be a dick. How dare? You're like, yeah, how dare yeah. you, sir? Your head is fucked. Yes, you walk yes. around the world ruining everyone's day constantly. Yeah. yeah. I'll, you, I'll say, um, Cam McGuinness, though, when it, so I went to school with him when I was, uh, his dad was actually my principal at school, and his head wasn't always that rough. Really? Yeah, it was not. The best to start with, but it wasn't what it is now. <laughs> it's he banged really up. grew into it. It's yeah. fucking banged up. Bros. It's banged up a lot, man. <laughs> banged yeah. up abroad. You ever watch yes. that movie? The oh, show? The show, yeah. Remember One of the goat on. shows, bros. Outstanding. Like, honestly, what some of the stories you hear and you go on, yeah. I'd be P- PTSD for the rest of my life. Yeah, I'd just be shaking in like a corner crying. <laughs> banged up abroad. Yeah. Do you reckon they could get away with that name now? Do you reckon Cam McGuinness was banged up abroad? He was banged up here, he was locally. banged up ashore. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> banged up locally. Yes. <laughs> That's a good name for a show. Um, Banged up abroad does sound a bit like in today's day and age with the oh no not the the microphone. What's going on here? Oh no. And just I reckon lean it on on the edge of your seat there. There we go. Boom. And then just yep. Boom. That should be sweet. Good stuff. Yeah, you'll hear it. And right. Matt, Maddie will let you know if it's not loud enough. Sweet. Um, yeah, banged up abroad. You reckon they name it today if they? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I think about things that like happened back in the day. Like, did you watch Little Britain as a kid? No. Nah. Well, you'd been an adult then, but um, <laughs> <laughs> um, like Dave Chappelle show, like yes, that, yes. that sort of stuff. Yep. Um, even like footy show skits back in the day. Were, no like, way, no dude. No way, oh, no way. Mate. I see like the you know, the oldest, like greatest um, years of footy show stuff, and I'm just going that. Could not happen in this, in this day and age. That's offensive. Yeah, yeah. Age of outrage you live in these days. You oh my man. god! I mean, yeah, yeah you bloody, you, you felt it. You felt the wrath. Yeah. And they didn't really know what you were saying. Yeah. They were yeah. the ones in the wrong. They were the ones assuming things. Correct. Um, Correct. Mate. Apology. <laughs> yeah, from every single person. Correct. <laughs> mate, so yeah, heading into the game, like obviously you ended. You know, I hate to bring it up because it's, it's disappointing, but it was such a good year. But then probably your last two games were quite disappointing in how good the year was for you. Yeah, for Is sure. that something that's kind of – I mean, I know in pre-season you don't sit there going over the games again, but it is a real, I guess, reminder of like, now we got to be on mm. all the time. Yeah, definitely a point of contention for the end of the year. Like mm. you said, we had such a, good, such a good run. I think we won like 18 out of 23 games that we played and – um, no one expected it. Mm. Craig you know, fits his first year yep. in in the helm, and um, you know we gelled so well. And it was it was very disappointing to end the way we did, um, especially the Cowboys game. Like we had so many chances oh. to put the game away, you know, which was so which close, was bro. So close. Oh my chiller. god. Yeah. Um, you know what? If I'm being honest, I think that almost broke us. To be honest, going into the following week. Yeah. We were so close. We were at home, and you know, we we, we felt that we let the team the, yep. the shy down. Yeah. Wow. Well. Um, so to bounce back from that was was you know going to be a true test, and you know we went up to it on the, on the day. But you know, like we we went through it, we reviewed it. Um, but it's a new year this year, one more mm. year together, one more year stronger. Yep. Um, so we're just keen as to get into see us this time around. And how long are you contracted for? So um, I'm end of next year. End of next year, so you can November first this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mad, mad. I want to stay at the club, but I mean, I love the Sharks. I love where I am. Mate, it's honest. on the way up. It's on the way up. Like we are. far out. I love the coaching staff. There's not one Derek in the whole team. Yeah, like, except for you. Except for myself, yeah, that's what I mean. Like, obviously, other guys want to leave, but I'm sweet where I am. Usually, the Derek's the one that says there's no Derek's in the team. Yeah. <laughs> not me. <laughs> um, I know because I was the Derek. Yeah, no, I've been told. Uh, you take one to know one as well. Uh, we should just call the Derek show. Derek podcast? No. <laughs> What's this thing called? Derelique, Bloat FC. Derelique. Oh, I like that. Mate. Bloat FC, Derek FC. Um, Derek FC, I like that. That's what I'm trying to get <laughs> that's, at. Yeah, that's yeah. good. I like yeah. that. Um, what were you, so, because uh, Nighty, he actually messaged me just like, you know, asking my thoughts on potties and that. What were you thinking? Like, what's the, the vibe? Would you be going sport? Would you be going just talk about whatever you want? Well, like, I think we'd obviously have to go down a, a sort of a sport route to yeah. begin with this, because, you know, we're both playing NRL and stuff, mm. but be more about just like, honestly, anything. Like, we just like, Topics that come up throughout the week, relevant stuff mm. that, that happens on a day-to-day basis, you know. Um, it'll be a bit of an adversity thing as well because mm. what, what Liam's gone through in the recent yep. times and um, even, like, things that happened in my life. So it'll be a bit of a hardship type thing and get, like, we want to get, like, everyone on, not just sports, like, yep. sports people. We wanna, we'll probably start there because we've got a lot of, you know, we've got a lot of sports people in our back pockets. Yeah. Um, but... Yeah, we're just going to see how we go. We're going to call it Stuck in the Middle because Liam and I are stuck in the middle. Oh, I like that. Like stuck that. in the Middle, that's mad. Yeah, yeah. I like that. It's a little good. plug right there. Yeah, Stuck in the Middle coming soon. <laughs> coming soon, that <laughs> chap. Sorry. 
<laughs> You're already turning into a YouTuber. I know. Sorry. To What's up, everybody? Welcome to. That's how you started the podcast. <laughs> oh, I did too. Fuck you, right? Yeah. All right. Well, I am a fucking YouTuber. Yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. Okay, who's the um? We are. I'm going to ask a few of the boys just as the season starts. Who's a yeah. smoky for Dally M this year? You reckon? The smoky for Dally M. That's a tough one. Because you got your big, you know, your Clearies and all that. But yeah, they'll be yeah, up yeah. there, Tedesco. Yeah. yeah. But smoky. Nico Hines back to back. Mate, wouldn't that be... That'd be actually if he was a Derek now, he'd be fucking two <laughs> times. Out of, out of the ceiling. Dally M Derek. Dally M Derek. <laughs> Derek M. Um, who else could be a possible smoky? Uh, trying to... Th- I'm going to go um, in Will Kennedy for my team. I won't go outside my team because I love my team too much. Yeah, okay. But Will Kennedy, I think he could be in for an outside yeah, for he's underrated, bro. He's yeah. so underrated. Because people really. forget, when you guys... I think it was a, you had a few games where you struggled. He was injured. Yeah, at, at the back end with his ankle, eight weeks yep. he was out for. I think. Yeah, um, mate, my smoky. I've said this a million times now, but Scotty drink water. That's a doozy smoky. It's a good smoky. Yeah, that's a quality smoky. Um, top yeah. try scorer. I've actually got Mulatalo. Yeah, that's not much of a smoky. That's a pretty like. Well, how much did he get last year? Was he up the top there? Oh, actually, no, he wasn't because AJ always scores a hundred thousand. Yeah, from that's the what I mean. But, but yeah. I reckon like so. Matty Moylan had the most uh, try involvements last year of any player. Okay. It's right to left pass. As you know, it's way easier going that way. Yep, Especially yeah. front rollers. They're like, let's fucking go this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm left-handed. I'm the opposite. Oh, yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, well, fair hard. enough. Yeah. Um, thanks for ruining my story. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know. I did that. Yeah, yeah appreciate it, bro. <laughs> You're welcome. Thanks for having me on. I really appreciate it. <laughs> see you later. I'll see you later. John's going now. <laughs> yeah. um, and then, yeah, obviously, you've got Nico Hines. It's right to left. And obviously, I think Mulatai is in for a big year. Especially when, like, bro, if you're trying to fight people in trials, mm. you're keen. He's keen. He's keen. He should have been in a dare round. He's also outside of Talakai, which oh, mate. helps. Yeah, helps. Helps massively. You know? Holy, what about tackle on that? What's he like at training? Like, contact at training with Talakai, what's it like? No, you know what? He, I think he takes care of his A. He knows. He's like, he's one year younger than me, but he's, always, he's almost like the father of the team. Really? Honestly, yeah. And like, he's when he, when he speaks, that. doesn't speak all the time. Yeah, yeah. But when he speaks, you listen. Yeah, wow. Well, yeah. One of those sort of guys. Yeah, you know? okay. That's interesting. Um, so, it's funny, like... He'll rush up, he'll tag someone. Like, you know, in those sort of edge tackles, you sort of just like get yeah, in front tag. Yeah. And if the people keep running, he'll just be like, all right, sweet. Next tackle, he'll just absolutely <laughs> rinse you, cut yeah. you in half. You know how he used to do that? It's Hodjo. He'd go easy oh, on yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'd go easy on you. But yeah. if you took, if you kept taking the piss, yeah. you're, you're going for a ride. Yeah. You're going so for you a should. ride. Exactly. You right? were fast as man. I've yeah, seen but, some of those highlights here and there, and you had lightning legs, eh? That's all I had. Yeah, but. Yeah. And footwork. That's it. So you did have footwork as well? Decent. <laughs> <laughs> but that's it. That's, that's it. it. That's you you know what I always hate is when like, people are like, oh, if he wasn't big, he wouldn't be any good. It's like, yeah, yeah but he is big. Yeah, That's yeah. why he's good. Yeah, yeah 100%. <laughs> you know what well, what's your, th- your thing as well? Like, if it wasn't fast, mm. it wouldn't be good, but you were l- light and quick. Bro, speaking of fast, oh. fucking have a look at these bad boys. Can you they, see uh, them, Matty? Yeah. Holy shit. Just Out. come in, fresh Standing. from the Netherlands. No way. Nike.com. Yeah, Got them. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. I just want to send a shout out to Nike. Thanks for letting me. <laughs> supply me my shoes. Yeah. Thanks for supplying me with full price shoes. Yeah. <laughs> um, mate, because I'm going for a run later. And we, there was a story in the potty last week about um, me, me kicks. Yeah. And, and I had a battle with a bloke. Do you have battles with people like silent battles that they don't know they're in? Um, I have in the past. I had one with Jack Hetherington once. Oh, really? That's yeah. a, I, don't, I wouldn't be having battles with that guy. No, I don't want to be it. It was, uh, I think it was 2000, might have been 2020. Yeah. Um, I can't remember what he did. He either pulled my hair or called me soft or called me a word I can't say on here, something like that. Yep. Um, and it was when he got um, loaned to the Warriors mm. and I just had this one finally good call. It's just like, my own team doesn't even want you. And he just <laughs> smiled at me. I was like, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> I should not have said that. And we were going at each other the whole game, this and that. And then after the game, had a big hug. And yep. I've seen him like later on and like now I'm with friends because of it. It's, fucking, yeah. it's mad. I love that shit. It always happens on footy fields, eh? Yeah. You almost respect a bloke that's willing to go toe to toe. Yeah, for sure. Like when, when Wendell came back from Union and he was out for a few years for dabbling in things he shouldn't dabble in. Yep. Um, yep. Allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah, of course. Yes. Uh, he sprayed the fuck out of me on the field. Really? And I was stoked because I'm like, that's Wendell Saylor. Yeah. I get to get sprayed by Wendell Saylor. Yeah. I'm sitting there smiling. Anyway, I seen him a few years later mm. and he was like, um, you know, what was so you irritated the fuck out of me Yeah. because you kept smiling at me. I was like, bro, I was smiling because I was like a fan. Yeah. And yeah, he was like, yeah, but I just thought you were cocky little arrogant. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, I'm like, mate, like- no way. No yeah. way. Um, Anyway, uh, so Dally M, top try scorer. Uh, it's hard to... Who's a smoky for Origin this year, you reckon? Oh, oh, I got a doozy as well. Okay. 
my team again, this one's like the most legit thing I've said so far, Teague Wilton. Okay, oh, I pay that. Player. That's a good That's Man, a good call. He I'm, can play. He can play. And I'm telling you, the preseason he's had, the two trials I've seen him in, he has done some outstanding things. The form is in, the work he puts in, like outside of training, the extras and stuff. Yeah. And like, he's such a smart kid as well. Like, yep. I'm telling you, yeah, I back him all the way for a Smokey Origin. Yeah, he, he's a gun and he's almost, he's absolutely had to like earn his place because you've got obviously Wade Graham that's usually yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. Um, and he's, yeah, fought tooth and nail to get that edge spot. Yeah, um, so yeah, that's a great shout. That's yeah, a great shout. Not bad, eh? You got one? You got a doozy or? Um, Rich Robson. Yeah. I think there's yeah. a world where he leapfrogs everyone, leap, leapfrogs everyone and gets that nine jersey for the Blues. Well, who was the, because Ben, was Ben Hunt for? So Benny Hunt for Queensland, but Rich Robson's New South Welsh. Oh, he's too, yeah, that's And right. so like, it'll be between obviously Appy and Damien Cook, but I reckon mm. there's a world where yeah. Freddie goes youth, Yeah. but Appy's pretty, Appy and Cookie, I reckon Cookie's in for a big year because he's got something to prove. You know, because like he lost his Australian jersey, mm. like just you know, you could argue that he should have kept it because he was the incumbent, incumbent, but mm. he didn't. So I reckon he's in for a big, big year. But mm. um, mate, how good's footy back? Like seriously, I know I can talk about have, stuff now. Oh my god, have, have you? Talk about. Do you guys taper off? Like, as in, have you tapered off this last week, or it was it a week before training? So we had uh, no. So we had the the last trial. Mm. Um, after that, I think we had like a few. No, yeah, it was, yeah, we would tape it off after that. And then this week's just been a normal week. Yeah. So okay. just normal, like, sort of game prep. We always have um, a big uh, game minus four day. Okay. That's our so big day. Four, four days before the game? Four days before the game. Okay. So this one was, uh, what days today? I think it was Tuesday. Mm. Um, and it's pretty solid session. Get pretty flogged. 13 yep. on 13, like, sort of arm wrestles and stuff. Oh, okay. Um, and, yeah, it worked pretty well last year. So still mm. the same system this year. Yeah. It's, uh, mate, I'm so excited. Actually, my grand final prediction is you mm. versus Roosters. That's mine too. <laughs> Mate, I oh fuck, I can just see you boys. I don't know, it's something going on. Hopefully you guys go, you know, go all the way because uh, the Shire. Oh. I know. So I, I wanted to go down in 2016 when the grand final was on. <laughs> go down to Northeast and just like experience everything. But I had no friends that wanted to go down with me. I had no friends in general really in 2016. <laughs> Much has changed. So if I could be a part of that, that would just be... Couldn't even put it into words, mate. Uh, you, you, you would need private. All of you would need private security at all times because you'd do something hectic. No way. <laughs> oh, fuck Get me into the mix of the people. Get mate, me into the mix. Hundred percent. There's a controversy waiting to happen. Yeah. Well, sort of has to follow me wherever I go now. <laughs> um, all right, mate. I've got to ask you a question. It's uh, the other a few probably six weeks ago. Yeah. I hadn't been out in the water in ages. I'm talking like 10 years. I'm not a water guy. Okay. I'm a land guy, okay. like yeah. most human beings. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, yeah. uh, anyway, so went out in the boat with my sisters. They like rent. Do you know how you can like tie, like share renting of a boat? I didn't know that. No. So basically there's boats you can get and everyone, like all these different people, you throw in, let's say two grand a year. Mm. And then, then oh, you can, yes, yes, I do. No, you no, can no, book yeah. it for when you want to use it. Yeah. Anyway, we went out. And the guy that was, uh, the guy, so my brother-in-law's brother, he was the driver, he just got his license. So he was new, yeah. he didn't know what he was doing. Well, he yeah. knew what he's doing to a degree. Yeah. Um, anyway, we pulled up Watson Bay and my sister's husband who had done it before, he had a meeting on his laptop for work. Mm, mm. Uh, and so we needed to go in to get some food mm. and I was the only bloke left on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going, yeah. oh shit. Yeah. It's all falling on me now. Yeah. When I don't know what's going on. Yeah. I don't even know, left from right. I don't know anything. I've never even, ex I couldn't even tell you what that was called. The little, is it the till? The levee? Yeah, whatever it is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're a land mammal too? Well, no, I, I like the ocean. I just like being in the actual ocean. Oh, I don't okay. really like being on boats and stuff. Anyway, so like yeah. we're on shore. And then, so I, they put me in this, like the little dinghy to try to go in and get yeah, the thing Yeah, yeah. Bro, we, they give me the, the, the till yeah. and everyone, like now everyone's watching because I'm taking forever to do it. People are like trying to get, like get the spot, all that kind of shit. Yeah. And so I start stressing out going, oh my God, everyone's watching. I get in it, I do like a little test run, but they forgot to give me like the actual handle to use. Yes. Yeah. And so I'm like, holding it like a claw trying to turn the till because they go up with the didn't give me thing oh it's been the engine like the rudder is that what you mean or? yeah it's like a little engine what you do is you like clip it on the back of the dinghy yeah and you like sort of yeah and it you, like that and yeah, you can go yeah, and you just yeah. you you can cruise in the thing oh yeah. anyway so like i go like just to, like just near the boat go in a circle and i, I go no nah, i can't do this this is too hectic <laughs> and on top of that like I start wigging out going, oh, oh no, like what if people are filming in that? Yeah. So like you know what? Give me the paddles, I'll paddle in. Yeah. And so then I did a little test of that. 
And I was like, no, nah, I can't do that either. Yeah. So I was like wigging out because I was, what if I do this and then someone recognises me yeah. and then I get tagged and all the boys see me out in the dinghy <laughs> at Watson's Bay trying yeah. to get in and not being able to get in. Yeah. Anyway, so my my sister's uh, husband, mm. we we take so long his meeting ends, he jumps in, boom, does it. And so- Does blo- he like swim or, or does he get off the boat and go into the dinghy? How he, he went into the dinghy and just yeah. went bang, bang, bang and just did it. Just manned it. So bloke yeah. card has been revoked for me. Yeah. And I wanted to ask you, yeah. when's a time when you've had your bloke card revoked where you've just been embarrassed about not knowing certain things? Yeah, so for me, it's not necessarily not knowing thing, although I don't know a whole lot. <laughs> um, like I can change a spare tire, I can do that. Yes, I can that's, too. That's a doozy. Um, that's about the way the list ends. But uh, there's one time I was um, I was on a date with this chick. Uh, we're back at her house in Bondi. I better get hot and heavy. It was keen as. Yeah. Um, and then she, I hear this scream from the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, what is it? Oh, What's in no. there? She goes, uh, there's a gigantic huntsman in there. Can you come kill it? And I'm like a proper arachnophobe. <laughs> like, you know, I don't mind like a daddy long legs or anything. Or, yeah, okay. You know, red back sort of pushing it, but a, a huntsman, like I know they're harmless. I hear yeah. that all the time, but Ugh, oh, shit. Yuck. Like, mate, they're like, it's just the way they move. They're disgusting. Just, freaks me out, right? Yeah. So I go and just inspect how big this is. And this thing was as big as the kitchen sink. I was like, <laughs> that is not me. You need to like, you need to check yourself. I know I'm the man and I need to try and do this shit, but nah. I ended up like, Going outside and just screaming for help. I needed, this, I needed this thing gone so I could, you know, finish the day. Um, ended up recruiting these random, like, Spanish blokes on the side of the street. <laughs> Told them in broken, like, they, were, they couldn't really speak English. Yeah. Told them what happened. They came in and full save the day. No way. Yeah, yeah, they fully helped me out. I, oh I was hopeless. Oh, my God. Hopeless, Did so. she still respect you or no? I never spoke to her again. <laughs> 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 I don't know if it was, like, on her behalf, like, or, of being, or, or me being so ashamed of yeah, myself. Yeah, like, ashamed of yourself, yeah. insecure. Yeah, it was one of the two, but either way, yeah. <laughs> If you're watching this, I'm very sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, she's definitely watching. She's definitely watching, 100%, yeah. 100%. Like <laughs> um, yeah, mate, look, there's been plenty of times. You know what's funny is like when everyone's always like, oh, if there was a robber, you know, mm. you've got to go down and like, mm. but it's scary as shit, man. Fuck like, this. like tiptoeing around the house thinking someone's broken in. Yeah. Like it's, you're, just because you're a bloke doesn't mean you're not shitting yourself. <laughs> yeah, 100%. I like yeah. walking around with my hands up like that. Yeah. Ready to fucking go. <laughs> <Ready> to go. <laughs> I, um, I was living at home actually recently and um, oh, my brother was, I don't know where he was, he, I was living with my brother at home. Yeah. Um, he was out and I swore I heard something. I swore I heard like noises in the house mm. and I just pretended to fall asleep even though I wasn't asleep. Turned out my brother was actually at home. He'd come in at like two in the morning, saw me and just like left me and I, and I thought I saw him and I just was like, I'm gonna die. I'm just, I just, I surrendered to it. I didn't even want to buy it. So I know exactly what you're talking about. Fight or flight, yeah. you just froze. froze. <laughs> yeah, pretending to sleep. The dog was the same. I had the dog there as well. He didn't move either. So a bunch of cowards in my head. <laughs> Did you, when you were growing up, like we had a house where like, let's say if you stayed up late, yeah. the bedroom's like on the other end of the house. Lights off, had to run there. Did you used to run? <laughs> yeah. I used to run. Yeah, yeah. I, I used upstairs. to run. I, I used upstairs. to go, boop. Uh, yeah, yeah, thinking yeah. like it's just going to come out and someone's <laughs> going to grab me. I remember I was like, yeah, I think I only stopped happening about two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. um, and also, a uh, quick question. This is this is something, I was at the airport yesterday going to Captain's Run and I feel like maybe I'm the only weirdo that does this. But do you like constantly check and recheck the departures like? No, nah, yeah, no, nah, I'm, I'm bad like that. Do you know what I mean? Like you look and you go, okay, yeah. I'm gate 14, yeah. flight 511. Yeah. Bro, I'll look at it, I'll know it, mm. and I'll I'll check it honestly five or six times. I'll get the ticket out and like make sure it's on the ticket, that it, sort of stuff. Hundred yeah, percent. No, because I've missed flights before Mate. just from fucking around. We had we were in Europe actually, and um, we were like waiting for a train, and like this is from Naples to like Milan or some shit, or Milan yeah. to wherever it was, Florence, mm. and we were so like unaware of what's going on. This train we'd been waiting for ages for. Yeah. Train pulled up, we were looking at it, <laughs> watched people get on it, yeah. watched it leave, yeah. and then we missed our fucking train all the way to, to Naples. Was there just chat? Florence. Was there chat to like between you guys about well, is this our train or? Was yeah, it yeah, just, there was chat. Yeah, we're yeah. going oh, like, this is oh, it? no, I don't, I don't think it is. Cause if it was, like, they'd be telling us, like, there'd be people like yeah. pointing towards it. And cause they were like keeping it, like, so we went in to go into a certain door yeah. and the security guard pointed, like, he goes, nah, don't come through this door, yeah, go through yeah. that door. But that door was directly where the train was. Yeah. So we were thinking, well, the train must be over here because mm. he's pointed us over here because we showed him our ticket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I missed the train. We missed, well, we missed many things because of fucking, our, our flight 
got cancelled and then we had to stay somewhere for three days because there was a flight, uh, a, um, a strike by the pilot, no. uh, the strike by the people that work there. Yeah, yeah That no. was, we missed all of Italy because of it. No way. Uh, sorry, all of Rome, all of Rome. I, um, I, had a, I had to book three flights to get from Perth to Bali. No way. Just last off season, yeah. So booked one, um, rushed to the airport on time, all good, checking the thing a thousand times like we're saying. Yeah. Get to the counter and it's like the busiest time to go to Bali ever. Everyone from Perth, it's like a three-hour flight. Get to the front of the line, they're like, oh, this is for next Tuesday. I'm like, <laughs> perfect, that was a good start. Um, got out of the line, panicked, bought like a, the next flight. The next flight I could see, it was like an 18-hour flight for a three-hour flight, like a 15-hour layover. Oh. In quite a lump or something, I was like, I need to get out of here, to go to Bali. Yeah, Bang, yeah. booked it, right? Then I like calmed down and I was just like, I called my brother, I was like, yeah, I'll be there in like two days, I'll be there soon. <laughs> this layover in Kuala Lumpur. Um, went on Skyscanner like I usually do. I don't know why I didn't do it in the first place. And then saw this flight for like two hours later that was for, I think it was like a thousand bucks direct. Yeah. With some shitty airline, yep. Melinda maybe. And I was like, yeah, get that. Didn't even try and get the refund for the other one. Yeah, cause you stayed over it by Yeah, I was so. like, you know what? I'm just like, yeah, there's actually that. Yeah. So it cost me about two and a half thousand dollars a three hour flight from Perth to Bali. And that was, that was the start. That oh. kept happening in my whole trip. Oh, really? Yeah, that was, yeah I got scammed once. I got scammed going from uh, <laughs> from Bali to LA. <laughs> so, like, on the Skyscanner as well, usually what I do is... Are you familiar with Skyscanner? No, I don't know what it is. So, it's just like... Um, you can just type in destinations and you find you the cheapest flight. Yeah. Um, and just, like, all the flights that are going on at the same time. So, usually I'll just see the flight and I'll go, like, directly to the website and book it. This time I did it through Skyscanner, mm. which is, like, a th the third-party type thing. I changed the hour of the flights, wanted to leave later, and then they just didn't even tell the airline that I was oh changing. Oh my God. So I got scammed out of like 1,500 bucks, and then I had to go there two days later. I missed out like the biggest night in LA. I was going there with Nico, Nico was already there, missed out um, partying with him, and more should happen, but I'll just leave it at that. Oh <laughs> yeah. man, that's yeah. torture. So yeah, I mean, you can always, whenever you're traveling, you can guarantee a loss here happen. or there. It's yeah. gonna happen. Yeah. Man, I loved Europe. Europe was, have you been to Europe? Not as an adult. Oh, really? Yes, mate. Well, where can we go? Like, we can go in the off season, yeah, but, but you, you want know, to go during July, summer. Yeah, and also, like, you want to let yourself go when you go there. Like, yeah. you, you want to just eat everything. Like, when me and the missus got there, like, I was, don't get me wrong, I was already overweight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But when we got there, we yeah. said, no one bring up healthy food. Like, in, like, oh, we shouldn't eat this because it's too many of this or whatever. Don't bring up, like, weight, what we look mm. like. Who cares what we look like by the end of this trip? 100%. Let's just indulge in whatever we can indulge in. You did. We fuck, we indulged every night. We would like pastas, pizzas, Man. wine. Yeah. It was so good. We ne we didn't have any fights as well. So it was like you know when you're usually expecting a, a blue at, mm. when you go away because you're in each other's pockets so much. The whole time, yeah. No no blues, nothing like that. Constant food comas. Mate, got home, hundred and five point five kegs, just like double chin. Double chin to, to the days, yeah. and I was like, looked at myself in the mirror and go, "You're disgusting. <laughs> you you disgust me." How long ago was that? When was that? No, that was about twelve weeks ago, sixteen weeks ago, I reckon. Looking pretty, you've trimmed up since. Yeah, then. I've been working my dick off though. Yeah, okay, right. Uh, working my dick off. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. Yeah. Um, I've lost about fifteen kilos. Okay. I reckon about twenty of, of fat. Yeah, because I've put on muscle. I've lost. I was 105. I'm about 91, 90 now. Yeah, okay. Uh, I need to get, on as well. I, yeah, would have put muscle mass on. So I reckon about 20 kilos. I want to get down to 85 though. Okay. But what's crazy is when you lose weight, you go, you look at old photos and you go, how did yeah. I get that big? Yeah. Wow. But you know what it was? It was COVID, man. That rocked me. Stuck not, in the not house. Not able to leave. Yeah. Just yeah, not been yeah. able to do anything. Oh, mm. the head noise was through the roof, bro. Well, luckily we, we moved to Brisbane. We yeah. got moved up. It was yeah. a great house. And you want a resort too, so you kind of go no, outside. No, I wasn't on. So we got stitched up heavily. No way. Yeah. So we were in um, what did I say stitched up? I'm still grateful we can get out of Sydney. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, we we're in a hotel with the Tigers um yeah. in Brisbane, and the other lads like you know there were lads like I think the, um Melbourne had news to do themselves. Yeah. Um, I think the Warriors and the Bulldogs on the Gold Coast, big massive resort. Oh. Raiders and South were in the Q1 by themselves. No way. Yeah, they had like their own apartments. Um, we even we even versed the Tigers while we were living with them. So is that weird? So weird, eh? <laughs> so weird. So like it was we were playing Rockhampton. Yeah. So it was different buses, same flight. We went up there, beat him by like 50, same flight on the way back. Oh and we we're just blasting music going mad. They're at yeah. the back of the bus, quiet as. And Matt oh. was just giving us death stares. I was just like, maybe we should ease up a bit, but. Sorry for yeah. telling you up. Yeah, sorry, yeah, 50 in the house, bounce. Um, yeah, that was, yeah, that was an experience. Now, how old are you now, 26? 27, just turned 27. 27. Yeah. Mate, I realized the other day that I'm old, old. 
I'm getting to old old. You know why? Because <clears throat> I got these two cups yeah. over in Venice yeah. and I love them. And I never thought there would be a time you love carbs? that I would be sitting there going, this is a beautiful carp. Like <laughs> it's sentimental. Yeah, yeah, Cause yeah. what it is is so this, I think it's called Venetian glass. Okay. And in Venice there's all these little islands and you go to this little island and basically the glass comes from that island and only families on that island are allowed to work the glass. That's pretty it's sick. all hand made. And yeah. you, what you do is you get a tour. So you get this like, um, boat out there and it's like through all these little canals and then you go out to the open sea and then more into little canals and it's literally an island in the middle of nowhere like mm. there's there's like maybe a uh, population of a hundred or something yeah. it's tiny yeah. Yeah. you go into the workshop you sit down and they show you how they make their glass i think it's called venetian glass could you check that please maddie anyway the way they so this 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 um cup so we, we watch them make their stuff and basically what they do is is they they roll they get like beats of glass that are like green red yeah, yeah. they're all speckled speckled yeah and they like roll it into like each other and then they like kind of whirl it so it becomes a, an actual cup it's like a rainbow kind of glass yeah like it's like a colors? rainbowish kind of color yeah, yeah. it's it's world it's world renowned venetian glass i'm pretty sure yeah okay. venetian glass venetian glass and so there's a lot of fakes like most stuff you see is fake whereas this is we're actually watching it getting made yeah, right. anyway so we go we finish it we're going that's incredible the guys we're watching a master so a grandmaster yeah. where well, you've got to study 10 years 10 years to do this grandmaster okay. yeah. we go back inside anyway so my missus she's way too good looking for me she's actually a good sort okay good and so you. we go back in yeah, i appreciate it yeah. um punching overs massive overs well done. don bradman happy for you um and so we're in the shop and we go separate ways. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so as I like, I go on one corner, she goes, she's looking at these like glasses or whatever. And the actual, the owner, the guy that runs the whole thing, he's like trying to like, just talking to her about the thing yeah. And cause she's hot yeah. and he's Italian. So they love beautiful women. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So he starts like talking to her and trying to upsell her. And I'm going, I'm, I'll take the pretty privilege all day long. Yeah, like, yeah, I, yeah. I want to experience it too. Yeah. Anyway, he takes us on a private VIP tour of the joint no way. all the way through everything, showing us how, like how it was all made and everything. He goes, yeah. and he's like, guys, I'm telling you, buy these two carps because a, they're like, I think it's like 150 euro or something, uh, which is like, these are handmade. Yeah. He's like, and he takes us to the actual masters. They're like where they sit and work and they've got the exact same, not the exact same, like handmade cups that look the exact same. Yeah. They use them as well. Mm -hmm. um, the, this is like so, ex like so exclusive that they're actually struggling to find people that are willing to go through the apprenticeship again. You're 10 years on an island. 10 years on an island. Yeah working with glass, yeah. they're actually, they reckon that like in 20, 30 years, there's gonna be no masters left to, to make it because a lot of the younger kids just don't wanna do it. They don't wanna sit there for yeah. 10 years and, and go through the grind that the older generation did. Yeah. And so we got these two glasses and I swear to God, every time I drink, they're like, they're like shaped, they're, they're hand shaped. So they're not like uh, perfect, yeah. perfectly molded, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So when you put your hand on it, it literally fits your hand as if that's it's, sick. mate, it's incredible. And yeah. that's, that's how I know I'm getting old. <laughs> you spoke about 10 minutes about glass. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, mate, yeah. I wish I had brought it in, but my missus would probably kill me. She'd be like, Too scared. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, if I brought right. it in and broke it, oh my God. And also this, it's sentimental. It's love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was love yeah. to a cup each. It also probably worth heaps of money as well. When uh, yeah, it all in a, in a, if it all stops, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but you need more cash. <laughs> <laughs> mate, I'm just a battler, mate. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just battling, just battling. You do it. You've done well for yourself. I'm happy for you. For oh, mate, you. just battling. All, mate, I, all the money goes to supporting everyone else. Yeah, no, you're in, right. In the you're company. Right. Of course, of course. Um, mate, I've got, got a cracking cracking little yarn for you. Go on, then. And for the listeners. So, a Spanish high court backs man's right mm. to walk nude in the street. This is something that I reckon you'd be a big fan of. Yeah, you're right. You so, bailed that. <laughs> he was fine for walking the streets of Valencia <laughs> nude. Took them to court, rocked up nude, wearing just hiking boots. Yeah. He argued that the fines infringed on his right to ideal, ideological freedom. He quoted, the fine doesn't make any sense. They accused me of obscene exhibitionism. According to the dictionary, that implies sexual intent and that has nothing to do with what I was doing. Public nudity has been legal in Spain since 1988. Anyone can walk naked down a street without being arrested, but some regions such as Valladolid and Barcelona have nice. introduced their own laws to regulate nudism, especially away from the beach. The court noted that Aldea has no law prohibiting nudism. 
That's outstanding. What? That's outstanding. Like, talk about just backing yourself. So you rock up to the court nude as well. I feel like that would be a good way for you to like not get what you're wanting. Cause yeah. I, isn't it like a whole respectable kind of court thing? You meant to yeah, like and you're just rolling in nude. Yeah. Oh my God. What, do you know what his name is, this bloke? I think it's name, oh, I'm not sure actually. Yeah, right. He's probably been fucking knocked off by the government or something over there. <laughs> <laughs> Most likely, eh? Hey. Think of it as a disrespect. Yeah, no, it's... <laughs> like yeah, someone... Standing. Rocking into a... Like, so, you, let's say you're like a, a young lady that's just signed up to law and, like, you're, you're, you're doing your apprenticeship. <laughs> yeah. You rock up to work and yeah. a dude's just standing there with his piece out. Yeah. Going, I'm fighting for my freedom. <laughs> I'm going to this guy out. <laughs> He's yeah. like the brave heart for nudists. Yeah. You can take our lives. But you, you can't never... take our nudism. No, you can't. <laughs> 1988, there was a class action or something you were saying that well, like you're allowed to be nude in Spain. Yeah, so from That's even more interesting. since 1988, yeah. anyone can yeah. walk naked down a street without being arrested. So yeah. nudie runs down, nudie runs in Spain. You know what? Every footy club should go to Spain to do nudie runs. That would still somehow not be sweet. Yeah, we would get in trouble. Yeah, 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 yeah. Still get in trouble, even though it's legal. But yeah, are we moving to Spain? <laughs> <laughs> How great, like think about the guts it takes so yeah. first of all, get nude and just start walking around. Yeah. And then second of all, to go, you know what? Mm. I'm going to fight this to the end. I wonder if he's like always nude. Like if he's like looking in the dictionary for like while he's nude, looking at like the different things oh. and like backing it up. You know what I mean? Do you reckon he hook, line and sink them? As in like he knew the law. Yeah. Get ping for it. Yeah. Then make Whack. a stand. Yeah. Oh, that sounds smart. I wonder if nudists, like if any nudists actually own clothes. That's a good point. Do does it feel any? weird for them to like put it on? You're like, does it, is it rough? Yeah. Is it, are they allergic to fabric? Or like, is it like a thing as well? Winter time, you can't be nude. Like, I mean, especially in Spain. Is it, is it, I haven't been to Spain. Is it freezing in winter? It'd be relatively cold, yeah, for relatively sure. Relatively cold. Yeah, yeah. And also for like males, you know, your piece shrivels up when it's, um, <laughs> Wait. well, any room temperature. I don't know what happened to mine this summer. Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, it's, that's going inside myself. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's, um, that is pretty outstanding. Thank you for telling me that story. Oh, that's I appreciate it. And the listeners, you're welcome. You're welcome. Oh, cool. You're here on Packer Up, boys. You're going to get all weird yarns. Mm. Now, at the pub this weekend, mm. you can go, Oi, did you know mm. that a bloke mm. was allowed to walk nude? And Not free. Free and nude. Yeah. You can never take our lives, but you can take our clothes. Yeah. That's what he said. That's what he said. 100%. You can never take our lives, but you can take our clothes. 100%. Um, and here's another bit of a yarn for you. Mm. An elderly man buys a Wall Street Journal ad to complain about his internet speed. A 19-year-old, uh, sorry, a 19, he's not elderly. Mm. A 90-year-old man named Aaron Epstein paid $1,100 for the ad that cost about the same as a year's worth of internet. Dr. Mr. Stanky, the ad begins. I can't be real. <laughs> AT&T prides itself as a leader in electronic communications. Unfortunately for the people who live in, N he put his address, N Hollywood, CA 91607. AT&T is now a major disappointment. <laughs> Many of our neighbors are creative technical workers in Universal, Warner Brothers, Disney Studios. We need to keep up the current technology and have a look at, to AT&T to supply us with the fast internet. Yet although AT&T is advertising speeds of up to 100 megabytes per second for other neighborhoods, the fastest now available to us is from AT&T is only three megabytes per second. Your competitors now have speeds over 200 megabytes per second. That is like, that's old man shit. That's commitment to the call. <laughs> Do his neighbors are giving him high fives after that one? Well, I couldn't wait. He's saying the competitors are having much better speeds, right? Why don't he just change companies? That's a good point. These are questions that we can't like really like, we can't ask because we're not there. We Maybe he's it. in the wrong. It's like Maybe they didn't make you. Shut up, yeah, eh? they didn't make you sign up. Yeah, yeah. someone <laughs> holding a gun to your head. Just yeah. sign up with AT and T. <laughs> just sign up with someone else, bros. Well, also like, wouldn't it have required lots of internet to make this ad, or is it all uh, analog? Like, is he calling people, or do yeah. you have to, like, how do you do? Go it? in there, yeah, and then put the ad up. Yeah. Mate, it is ironic though, using a, a, a billboard to get rid of the like to get angry at the internet. Yeah, and AT and T is probably like. So, like, okay. Yeah. yeah. Who gives a shit? Yeah, who gives a shit? Yeah, yeah. Um, now, I've got some Where are you finding from. these ones, by the way? They get, they get sent into Mate, or? No, no. Every, you just go on the internet and you just, you can find them everywhere. Just like, funny shit? Yeah, like, like cool stories blokes are like, boom. Find yeah. them everywhere, bro. There's hundreds of them. The okay. craziest stories. Okay, what now, he got, got some pub some pub debates for you. All right, let's go. Who is the greatest superhero of all time? And if those two fought, who would win and why? Greatest superhero greatest. of all time. But you say your greatest, I'll say my oh, greatest. Oh, okay, right. Um, the greatest. I like Spider Man, to be honest. Spider Man? Yeah, I like Spider Man. I don't know if he's the greatest, but firstly, like, in terms of logistics, he was. He, <laughs> logistics. Logistics. Yeah. He was the one that set off the Marvel. You know what I mean? 
Was he the first? Was it Yogan Iron Man was? I feel no, like- No, Spider-Man was way before. I don't, I don't think that was part of this u- universe though. Oh, you mean the superhero film? Yes. Wasn't it Batman? Is he? No, he's- um Like uh, DC. Chris, oh yeah, they're DC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. No, no, I can feel that. Yeah. So Spider-Man? Oh, just because I want to be him so bad. Like swinging through the city, you'd just be sick. It's going like, psh, psh, psh. that'd be mad, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> that'd be sick. Um, Mine would be, mm. I liked Iron Man. It's hard, I'm, I'm torn, because I like the movies, the Batman movies with Christian Bale. Yep. Um, but Iron Man, actually, you know what? The Joker. That, you said superhero. He's, he's a superhero, isn't he? Is he? Like he's a, a supervillain. Yeah, well, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've, uh, look, I've, there's a loophole there. Logistically. <laughs> Logistically loophole. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. No, no, I'll go, I'll go. I'll go Iron Man. I, okay. I'll go Iron Man. Even though I like the Batman movies better, yeah. Iron Man is just sick, bro. Got a hectic kit. Yeah. You're in the VR. Yeah. You can sit like you got is it Pip or whatever that messages you when you Oh uh, Pepper. Oh no, that was his wife. Um the ch- Tuesday? Was that was that his I'm not sure. I don't know. Who wins? Spider Man or Iron Man? Well, in the Marvel movies, Spider Man was pretty much I mean his Iron best Man is Yeah, no, it's his daddy pretty much. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know. I'm going to go. You know, that was the one about Spider Man. Does the city of New York get over him leaving his webs everywhere or do they biodegrade? That's true. Because, like, I was thinking about there'd be webs everywhere. Everywhere. There's so much shit going on. Because, like, when I, when I go home to yeah. my home, like, so it's in the hinterland of Mudrabah. Yeah. The work, whenever you walk down the stairs and that, you're wow. always getting spider webs. Now, imagine massive loads of them. Man made, like, man size spider Holy. webs what if you like walking like, home from the shops you don't see it and you just like get stuck inside of it <laughs> and like you're just like lying in midair are there council cleanups for this yeah that's kind of dog from spider-man do you reckon he goes back and cleans them up surely <laughs> surely not i reckon he's doing he saved mary jane like mary jane good sword Hello. like seriously the upside down kiss gets you every time doesn't it just yeah like yeah. do you reckon yeah. chicks are like they secretly wish you like upside down kisses I remember once I hung from a tree when I was like 10 years old <laughs> and tried to like kiss this chick I had a crush on in the street and I uh, got brushed. And, uh, yeah, heavily. I was like, Spider-Man kiss me. <laughs> you Spider-Man um, kiss. Nothing's really changed in 20 years. <laughs> oh uh, man, that's great. Uh, um, okay, so you're going Spider-Man for the victory? I'm going Spider-Man, yeah. Oh, I reckon well, you're what, Iron what Man. What about Goku? Is that allowed? I guess so. Is he a superhero? Are you an anime guy? Sort of, yeah. Really? Okay, yeah, walk us yeah. through that. Well, growing up, it was always cheese TV when I was a young kid. Oh, cheese TV. TV. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, Dragon Ball Z was like the, the, you know, that was the the main course. So my brother and I would always watch that before we had to go to school together. Mm. Um, and it just carried on. Like I, I watched um, like Naruto, I watched heaps, um, One Piece. Um, would you like to go over to like Japan and that to experience that? Yeah, I'm trying to go to Japan uh, for Christmas, mm. uh, mainly for the snowboarding, but also for that. Like, Could you imagine the culture there around anime? It'd be keen as. It'd be crazy. It'd be keen as, yeah. Crazy. It'd be almost like, it's like the Hollywood for anime. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, proper. Um, proper. I would love to go to Japan. They reckon the technology over there, like just all the Next little level. things yeah, that you, yeah. you don't really expect. Yeah, well, when I went to, um, when I flew from LA, from Bali to LA, I saw the thing in Korea, in Seoul. Um, and there was like a robot that you could put your bag on that would follow you anywhere around the airport. What? Yeah. In yeah. Seoul? In Seoul, in the airport. Like no you just put your way. bag on there. And it just like wherever you walk, it tracks you somehow, and you just just follows you everywhere you go. What the hell? Does yeah. it? How much does it cost? No, it's free. It's just you just put in like, this is my face, this is my yeah. body, and then it just follows you everywhere you yeah. go. Yeah, imagine the technology that we don't know about. As yeah. in, like, we know, like, think about that technology, how crazy it is. Yeah, yeah. Think about. So I think it was. Can you Google this? The stealth bomber in America was yeah. flying in the air for like ten or twenty years before anyone knew it existed. What is that exactly? The stealth bomber is like a- Hot air balloon type thing? No, the, the, the plane, the jet jet oh, pilots, yeah. uh, the jet planes, yeah. like in wars and that. Oh, no that way. Bomb, that like bomb in wars. There was it's, some crazy shit out there. So eh? there's, yeah, there's a stealth bomber and, and basically it was the first plane to not be able to be t- detected on the radars. Yeah, yeah. And so it was flying around, like America had this technology and no one knew it existed. So it's like just bombing in wars and winning wars and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And the enemy just like doesn't know what's happening. No idea what's going on. And so imagine, is that correct? Um, so yeah, there's still, I think it was like, it was years though. So imagine yeah, the yeah. technology they've got now that we don't know about. 
Have you even heard of that, uh, the chat GPT stuff? Have you heard about bro, that? Bro, that scares me, bro. That proper scares you, eh? Yeah, that's, that's like that's weird. And like, I remember years ago hearing about like uh, Bill Gates, um, Elon Musk, all these people saying they wanted to sign um, a waiver against AI, but now everyone's just doing it. Mate, you know why? Because the problem with AI is everyone thinks that we'll be able to control it. Yeah. But the problem is, is that where once the moment happens where it becomes self-aware mm. so we don't know when that happen we we don't know when that's going to happen mm. but as soon as it ticks over mm. it's over for us Word because matrix? well because like once it ticks over yeah. we might like it might have when we say for example let's say we give the ai in its code always protect mankind so in its code uh. it's hardwired always yeah. protect mankind and then it becomes self-aware uh. it's idea of protecting mankind might be different to what we think so for example mm. protecting mankind might be saying killing half of us because we don't have enough resources for the other half <laughs> do you know what i'm saying yeah i know what you're saying so yeah, the, yeah. we we don't have the the parameters to stop it yeah. from unforeseen futures things that you don't know could happen it could mm. measure because like it's an AI that can measure a million things at once a trillion things at once yeah so it's solutions to to the human like we may to value the condition that we completely different completely different yeah, or yeah. it might be like let's say we hardwire and it always do what's best for the earth yeah that might be exterminate us yeah you know what i mean yeah yeah, yeah. and so once that and, and once that becomes again we can get it all the way up to the point where we control it we control it we control it yeah. and it would be on the internet i mean chat the chat ai is on the internet it's already there isn't it yeah we we're not going to know when it becomes self-aware yeah. and then within seconds of it becoming self-aware boom it's gone so it basically, let's say, let's say it becomes self-aware on the internet, it infects somewhere, like, because mm. it can just move around in space because it's fucking AI. Mm. You would, you'd have to disconnect every computer from the internet to stop it from doing something. Yeah, but how could you do that? Well, you couldn't, that's you what I mean. Like, you'd yeah, be, yeah, you'd yeah. be done. And it would, it, and the things that it would do, like a guy, let's say a, 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 the smartest human in history, mm. he's going to sit there for years reading every book to become smart. Mm. An AI can just go, boom, read every book on the planet yeah. in like, a, in the, in the space of an hour. Yeah. And so it's infinitely smarter. Whoa, dude. Whoa, man. We're getting deep, man. Oh, shit. <laughs> you got that stealth bomber chat or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back there, bro. All right, I'm in. Yeah. This chat. 10 years. 10, Ten years, years in the air. Yeah. No one knew it existed. Shit. That is wild. Yeah. Like 10 whole years flying around bombing shit. There's some crazy shit out there with no idea. Oh, about, 100%. Hey. Yeah. Like I, even they like all the unidentified like um, flying objects that they've found recently. They released, you know. Some people say it's you know not real. Some people say it is real. But it's still mm. weird that we see these like things. grainy things yeah. in the air. Yeah. Um, I think. Do you reckon aliens exist? Oh, they do. Yeah, but it's like, um, are they within reach? Mm. Are they around? Like, as we can only go to the speed of light, mm. unless someone else has figured out how to you know Fold accelerate time. that. Yeah, full time. Yeah, even better, smarter. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's like because we, we've um, I saw this thing recently about how we've put up radio waves for the last I don't know fifty years. And yeah, we're alone. Like, there's nothing out there. Mm. But like in our vicinity. Yeah. But like you know how far how big is the universe? It's infinite. It's essentially infinite. Yeah. yeah. So like yeah, there's definitely shit out there, but it's just can it get to us? Will it get to us? Yeah. Do we? Can we even like? Are they even in the same dimension as us? Yeah. Like it's. Yeah, we're getting deep again, man. How deep are we getting? Oh my god! Well, I reckon, like with aliens, like they, there's a world where it's it's almost if they are intergalactic. Yeah, we might be like, for example, when you walk past a colony of ants, you don't stop and go, "Ooh, yeah. what's going on down there?" You just keep going. It's like mm, whatever. Mm, mm. And we might be so inferior to them yeah. intellectually yeah. that it's just like you know, oh, we'll keep an eye on them, but we're not going to go visit them because yeah, they're like, yeah. we are, they could be AI integrated with, with AI. Yeah, yeah, as yeah. Human, Like they might even be, do you know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. Yeah, 100%. It's, like, what if, um, no, I can't back that. I take <laughs> can't back that. You know what, you know what is crazy? This, this spins me out. And maybe my, any scientists that are listening, <laughs> mathematicians or whatever, yeah, yeah. correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. But you know how light travels at, you know, the sp at, like, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for example, when we see a, a star explode, it's probably exploded 10 light years yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah. So we're only seeing it, but it's yeah. happened 10 years ago. Yeah, yeah, I'm aware of that. Do you know if yeah. you could go far away enough from the earth? So let's say you went two and a half thousand light years away from the earth, but you had a telescope that could see the earth. Mm. You would be viewing Jesus walking around. Oh. 
like so that, in real that's time. If you can get there like now. So you if can just teleport there. Type teleport thing. there yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. And you had a telescope. Yeah. Because light t- takes that long to get to you. Yeah. You'd be lit, like watching the Romans walk around. My brain just exploded. That's, <laughs> that's hectic. That's I so think, hectic. Yeah. I never thought about that. Do you believe in like the multiverse and stuff? Do you reckon there's like Mate, other universes? I don't know. Who knows? I don't that? know. Who knows? The, 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 the concept of infinity weeks me out. Because yeah. if infinity is real, let's say it is real as a concept. Yeah. Every single possible outcome is happening at exactly the same time, yeah, yeah, yeah. all the time. So yeah. for example, we're having this conversation mm. infinite times over on mm. different planets yeah. in infinite different ways. So yeah. I said this sentence instead of a different sentence. Yeah. That's that's crazy to me. Then a stealth bomb just comes across and drops a bomb, bomb. and then one. we're dead. And then we're gone. And then we're gone skis. Yeah, and then yeah. in one we're not gone skis. One, one we're nude. Yeah. <laughs> one we're nudists. Should we make it right now? <laughs> <laughs> Mate, there's the concept of infinity. Do you know actually go even deeper? There's actually levels of infinity. Oh my god. So there's there's yeah, like in, think of it like this, like infinity, one, two, three, four, five. Mm. But then there's infinite fractions. So you measure infinite infinities? Well, infinity to the level of like two, I think. Okay, right. And there, I think there's four. Okay. So basically like when you, you can count to infinity, one, two, three, four, five, six, mm. seven, eight, nine, ten, mm. or you can count to infinity like 0.5, point mm. one, uh, one, mm. 1.5, 1.2, mm. uh, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Um, bad look. That's, that's all we're going to get into here. <laughs> we can't go any deeper, can <laughs> we? We'll leave it there for an hour. <laughs> I'll let you, th- I mean, if you're talking about this kind of stuff around a beer, maybe you're a weirdo. Mm. Maybe the boys are looking at you right now going, brah, just chill out, <laughs> right? Just talk about bloke stuff. Yeah, can we talk about fucking footy? hunting yeah and hooking up and getting nude yeah. yeah this infinite stuff is killing me yeah killing my the ai stuff's killing the vibe i'm exhausted <laughs> i'm fucking exhausted what um, else have we got uh okay who's the best james bond um mine's an unpopular opinion actually no i want to change my answer sean connery sean connery yeah yeah sean connery sean connery <laughs> Everyone's got a Sean Connery. Yeah, everyone's got one of those. Maddie, give yeah. us your Sean Connery. Sean Connery. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. Not let us, bad let us yeah. know in your comics, like write out Sean Connery in your way. Yeah, how do you spell it? <laughs> yeah, Just yeah. everyone writing Sean Connery. Yeah, <laughs> in the ground. Uh, the ground. <laughs> Who's yours? Uh, you got one? Um, mate, I'd like, it's a Daniel Craig. Yeah. I liked him because he's a bit more rougher. Mm. Uh, some, I, I like the roughness of him. Like he gets bashed up a bit and he, the fighting and everything. But in it, when it comes to like, you know, who is the bond in my mind, I'd probably have to say, is it Pierce Brosnan? That was who I was going to say. Yeah. When I was growing up, that's who it was. Yeah, yeah. So that was like the OG for me. Who do you reckon could be the next one? Who would you that's like? A, yeah, it'll be, I reckon it'll be a girl. You reckon? Oh, yeah. they tried to, didn't they try to introduce that in the last movie? I think they, they did. They did too, yeah. Yeah. So I nailed that. Yeah, boom. <laughs> you nail it, boom. There you go. I reckon, yeah. who would I like to be? Margot Robbie? Ma- oh, yeah, she'd be good. Mm. She'd be good. Mm. She's a, she's a, one of the, she's a goat already, I reckon. Yeah, no, she is. Like, and she's just like working with Brad Pitt every second movie. Yeah. And, you know, and Capito she's Aussie. And, yeah, of course. And um, she's really good looking. You know who is like a, like a goat of all goats, Aussie, that is like no one dislikes her? Uh, Kylie Minogue. I fucking love it first sight. Bro, best, best music ever. Mm. Never done anything wrong. Mm. Everyone loves her. Yeah. I honestly reckon she's one of the goat of all goats for Australia. I have to give you, yeah. Neighbours. Neighbours as well, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the James Bond, you know who I reckon would be good? He just need to get a bit more jacked. Timothy Charlemagne. Do you know who that is? No. Oh, damn. Oh, wait, yeah. The, is he in Spider-Man? He was Spider-Man? No, no. That's, no. Um, that's a different guy. He yeah. was in... Um, Oh, he's like a young heartthrob. Okay, right. Yeah, so maybe not deep enough. He sounds very familiar. Like Timmy, you would know him. him. Yeah, when you yeah, saw yeah. him, you would know him. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah. He's a great, like an incredible actor. He was in Dune. Remember Dune? I never saw Dune. Oh, it's such yeah. a good movie, bro. I'll have to give it a crack. Yeah, give it a crack. It's, yeah. it's good. Like, yeah. They talk about AI concepts and fucking infinity watch shit. <laughs> <laughs> Keep me away from it. Um, okay, dream sporting scenario. If you could be any athlete in the world, who would you be? Um, is it like what, what, what sport would I want to be best at? Is that kind of the question? Or like, is it like dream you, sporting scenario? Like, if you could be any athlete in the world, yeah. past or present, who would it be? That is such a... Um, you're saying Bolt would be sick? Just to be the fastest man oh, of all time? Oh, sick, yeah, yeah. cool to know that. Um, you know, he's, I think he, his like, manager robbed him of millions. No way. Yeah, well, recently. Maybe not him then. Um, <laughs> who else have we got? Um, I'm trying to think like the funnest... Does Eva Knievel count? Yeah, you can be Eva Knievel. Yeah, maybe, maybe him. Michael Jordan would be hard to miss. Mate, you know what I'd love to be? Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, yeah. Good sort. Yeah. Biggest, game, biggest sport in the world. Yeah. 
and just most goals ever in high level footy uh, yeah, football. Okay. Yeah. Man. I reckon Cristiano Ronaldo. But you know what? I heard um, Novak Djokovic is a bad man. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> from the inside. <laughs> from the inside? I heard this from the inside source. No yeah. way. Apparently, he like, hangs out in like the unisex um, like Australian Open change rooms. Just waits for like, sources to walk past and he's like, hey, how you doing? Like, no way. Yeah. So he loves it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's like, that'd be kind of cool, I guess, for him. Um, <laughs> who else? Mad wrestler. Would be sick. Like an Undertaker or something. The Stone Rock. Cold, The Rock. The Rock. Stone he's Cold the best. best. Stone Cold one. He was the goat. Yeah, he's a. Whenever I heard that glass shatter. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Dun. Yeah, oh, mate. <laughs> so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Mate, that is us. That is us. Pack her up, boys. Done and dosted. Good stuff. Good stuff. Thanks for coming on, brother. And uh, good luck this weekend. And uh, go out, grab a case of bloke and a bar beer. It's the best beer in all the land. And we'll see you next week. Good stuff. Boom. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. That got deep yeah. as shit.